Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you about how to load a fixed width text file the data into the SQL server through this integration process. The data with the fixed width is this is the data which I have employee ID, employee name, employee department and employee salary with particular um, fixed width and how to see how to get into this uh, server. See this is the database. Uh, this, this is the student warehouse database where I have the employee details table employee ID, employee name employee department see this is the I don't have any data in this particular so to enter that data this whatever the flat file data it, it is entered into this how we are going to do we will see here I am going to do new project this is an integration services project so next I will give example example one so create so I am going to create a new project here first one is control flow here I am going to drag and drop data flow task and double click over here I have this data flow now for what is the first source what is the source which we have is flat file source so that flat file source is drag and dropped over here so here we have this cross mark to or remove that we have to right click and edit here we have to make a connection manager and so here I will give employee connection manager okay EMP flat file connection manager and I am going to browse which one employee details open and here if you see the first columns this is the columns how it is a, like a uh, uh, undefined one so it is uh, so for that in general it is a format as delimited so I am going to take as a ragged one so here if you see the columns here we can specify the pixel length for each column so this is uh, we have to click wherever we want how much the length it should be like fixed one it will be So this is how we have, we can give the fixed length for that particular uh, particular columns. If you see here, okay. And if you see this here over columns here, this is the kind of, this is the columns where we got employee salary, employee name, employee. So this is okay. And then the source destination file will be ADO that net destination so here this output flat soul see this is the destination where it will get so again I am going to do a connection manager new here new so here the what is the server name which we have so here from here we will get the connect database engine so this is the connection manager control C save paste it and my connection is an SQL server authentication now I have given SA select the database a student warehouse ok then the connection is done and which table we have to enter the data employee details table here we have to give mappings mapping C employee ID so first employee ID next employee name employee department employee salary so these are the connections mappings what we have done and this is okay so that everything is done so connection managers has been done and if you execute this see both the green mark means all the data has been transferred here to check that one we will go here select star from employee details execute and see the data has been entered this is how a flat file flat file fixed with the text file has been 
entered that data is entered into this uh, whatever uh, sql uh, server this is how we will do thank you thank you for listening if you like my video please subscribe and share my video